ओके आई डोंट थिंक एनीवन एल्स इज गोइंग टू कम ओके यस आई डोंट सो बोलेश सर 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 जेंटलमैन यू हैव टू टर्न ऑन योर माइक सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट जेंटलमैन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर टुडे सेशन आई थिंक यू ऑल आर अवेयर ऑफ टुडेस टॉपिक दैट इज फीमेल 47 इन इंडिया यस 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 फीमेल 47 इन ओह सो आई थिंक यू हैव प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर इट आल्सो नो 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 आई हैवंट यू हैवंट प्रिपेयर्ड सीम्स लाइक Like no, I haven't prepared. He don't you... needs to. <laughs> He don't needs to. It's us who need to prepare the topic. <laughs> before coming up here, I just see the topic recently. Yeah, you know your uh, ability is just next level. <laughs> no, no, sir. Yes. Okay, so let's start our today's session. Okay. So good evening, so gentlemen. So I'm going to speak first. Ah, it's, yes. It's just number twenty-four yeah. turns. Yeah. So I am a host today. No, no, no. You are not. No, host. no. Actually, I am not hundred percent prepared. So I will request our host to give this responsibility to prepared? anyone why, else. Why you are not prepared? You have a time. Actually, I, I have already mentioned I am not too good from yesterday. I have some issues, health issues. Is a health so issue or something? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Only health issues. Okay. Only health. Okay, so chess oh, number twenty-two. Yeah, are you okay? So chess number twenty-two. Yes. What are you thinking? I'm waiting for you to give the responsibility <laughs> for me to come okay. on the front and deliver the lecture. Okay, so let's start with chess number twenty-two. You start the lecture, and Bolesh Sharasad, you can turn off your mic because there's background noise from your. Unnecessary side. noise is coming. Yes. Okay. So let's start, gentlemen. Okay. Jai Hind, gentlemen. I am Aman Pandey from Fatehpur district. Today, I am here to deliver a lecture on the topic female forticides in India. India is full of gender discrimination. According to the Ministry of Women Welfare and Child Development, uh, there are 108 males per 100 females. Uh, in India, girls are treated as goddesses, but nowadays many people think that uh, females are burden on parents. <laughs> which leads to female forticides uh, other reasons uh, sorry uh, which leads to female forticides reasons of female forticides are educational backwardness financial backwardness and many other reasons like rape dowry uh, violence against women and what not uh, in india we have patriarchal society which leads to son preference mentality which uh, which is because of Uh, social and uh, financial uh, security because of sun uh, so what is the uh, solution to it what government of india is doing to curb the female forticide government of india uh, has launched many schemes like beti bachao beti padhao yojana sukanya samriddhi yojana balika samriddhi yojana and many more but according to me i think it is a shame on us if even in the 21st century women are not safe in our country even before getting a birth so as a youth we should take initiative to uh, eradicate this one of the biggest uh, social evil present in our society uh, we should uh, what we can do for that is we should uh, remove many uh, problems which are present in our society like uh, social uh, like uh, violence against women rape dowry and uh, sati pratha uh, we can also do many things like uh, we can aware people by we can aware people by uh, different uh, awareness campaigns we can change our education pol- policy regarding uh, female forticides sites and we must also eradicate uh, the social levels like uh, and preference mentality and gender discrimination against women so this was all gentlemen okay so now chess number 24 don't look like me you are going to eat me it's your turn and you have to deliver your lecture at now first of all i am you know no i am not going to listen any argue oh. it's your turn it's your turn and it's your okay turn. okay Okay. Okay. So, your time is start so, now. Hello, everyone. This is Anand Patap Singh, and I am here to deliver 
to deliver a lecture it on the topic female fetish art in india so india is a very diverse country and india there always a patriarchal society exists in india and we all are aware that women are always discriminated from the ancient time till now and we, yes we are also aware uh, we i also agree that the conditions of women got better day to day and decade to decade for example if we look at the uh, if we look at the number of males per number of females in india it was around 908 in the census of 2011 but in the recent uh census or in the recent reports we can say that the numbers of females in india are now more than the number of males so we can also say that the conditions of women is improving as per we are you know increasing our literacy rate and uh, also it is it is also a sign of developing or it is also a sign of developing nation and uh, you know the major cause of female fetishize in india is according to me is that dowry system because you know india is not a very well financially able to do country and uh, people here are not uh, especially pe- middle class people here are not so financially good that uh, they could fulfill the dowry demands that may occur during the marriages of a their daughter and another is aspect is that literacy rate also you know play a very important role in female fetishize in india because we saw that the southern state of india which are highly you know literate the less there are women discriminated there and in the northern and uh, you know western district or states of india such as haryana punjab and uttar pradesh these are you know hot spot of the women discrimination in india and uh, from you know if we look at the ancient period so if we take sati pratha sati pratha is you know more abundant in these areas you know from central to western india it is not very much wide wide spread in the southern states of india and till from now till till from then till now the condition is same and our government has you know taken many steps to you know minimize the discrimination rate of women in india they have you know as just number 17 as just number 22 has mentioned kanya yojana and many and many education policies related to girls women and they are also you know providing financial loans and bimas for the marriages of the girls to the you know poor class and lower class of the society so and government is also you know apply government has also applied the ban on the you know they are on the hospitals with the help of science and technology many people you know came to know about the female child or male child during the pregnancy period in the in the hospitals uh, because of checkups so government has also banned on these types of events too and uh, let's end and thank you i have no points to put in and was not okay, i was not i was not in the present period too but you have to okay so yes. come to ashtos ashtos have you prepared a topic no not at all buddy, but i have some points okay so you can make your points let's come to polish and sharashat Bolesha Sharashat, have you prepared your topic or not? We will come to you. I, 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 I think Bolesha is. I think Bolesha is doing my. I think Bolesha is doing my question. No, no, no. Yes, he, yes, yes. Have I'm you done trying. that? No, 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 not yet. He is. I was. He is. So I am here to talk. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. I, I, I so you can. Yes, turn. yes, yes. Bolesha. Bolesha, it's your turn, and you have to deliver your lecture. Right? What what? You have to deliver your lecture right now. It's your turn. First you deliver. After that I will deliver. Oh okay. So Ashutosh, would you like to deliver your lecture right? So Shang, firstly you you will deliver. Then after you and after you and Holeshwar I will deliver my okay, lecture. Okay, so you after so Shang and Ashutosh, Holeshwar will deliver. Okay, so you <laughs> want to like prepare your lecture right in in between lecture session. 
बोले सर यू आर जस्ट इंटरप्टिंग दिस लेक्चर एट बिहेव योर सेल्फ ओके 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 सो इट्स नाउ माय इट्स माय टर्न नाउ राइट नाउ यस यस नॉट योर टर्न शशांक गौतम टर्न शशांक गौतम टर्न सो यू हैव टू टर्न एट लीस्ट योर कैमरा होम शुड आई डिलीवर माय लेक्चर आस्को सो योर बॉडी ओके लेट मी स्विच ऑन माय कैमरा आई एम गोइंग टू लिसन यू एनएस बताप सिंह आई एम रेडी स्टार्ट यस गो यस यस हेलो okay so good evening gentlemen my name is shashank singh gautam and i am here to deliver lecture at on topic female forticide in india so what is female forticide in simple word female forticide mean abortion or killing of a female forticide in selective basis it's not rather killing of female forticide or discriminating sex but it is that killing of female forticide in mother womb it if it is found to be a girl child before its birth so let's talk about origin of female forticide in india In 1970s, India was facing crucial social economic difficulties due to increase in population. At that time, Indian family Indian families considered men as greater importance to females. Due to this, government hospitals found an alternate solution for this as as abortion of female for decide. But in 1970s, it was not possible due to insufficiency of technology but in 1990s when ultrasound technology came there was seen increase in large amount of female forticide practices let's come to its causes of female forticide in india i think there are many causes of which dowry system alien money like paraya dhan women are considered in india as paraya dhan and male pet patriarchal male society in our society males are males are given more importance rather than female lack of education and misuse of technology and misuse of doctors misuse of doctors technology misuse of doctors of their information these were the causes responsible for female forticide in india let's talk about impact of female forticide in india impact of female forticide were seen in long term in our society like decrease in female ratio comparable to men due to which males completely dominate the society in 2011 a study were made and found that around 15000 women were trafficked were illegal illegally trafficked from a state where the population of women is low from a state where population of women is high to a state where the population of women is low government has taken many steps to control female forticide practices but it was found of no effective uses of because of our society small thinking government has launched many schemes like balika samriddhi yojana beti bachao beti padhao and various type of scheme but that was found to be no effective due to our society small thinking let's come to conclusion in our society for upbringing a good society and developing a nation we have to consider men and female as two wheels of a society like if one wheel get disbalance the growth of a nation is not possible so we have to give proper importance to female like men that's all jai hind thank you okay very well done sushant my my lecture late was in why are you saying gentlemen <laughs> please don't behave vulgar because i have to edit that Bole, question bole sir what type of shits you are writing here because i have to edit that video and it's take a lot of time for me to edit such long video so please don't make it vulgar like i will cut i will know that this part is like bilkul clear hai to main ise easily edit kar paunga so now is bolisha sara so turn so gentlemen you have to deliver yours lecture it it's your turn okay asutosh your turn no 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 bolisha sara sath is your turn no 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 asutosh then then i will prepare in mean meanwhile okay 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 wait 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 actually i have i haven't prepared my topic but i have some points okay so so deliver it don't consider let me let me start let let me start okay shall i go yes yes 
So hello gentlemen my name is Asutosh Singh and I am here to deliver a lecture on the topic female fortitude if wait, wait, so, if you want to turn on your divided. camera Asutosh Asutosh wait 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 if you want to turn on your camera you okay, can okay okay yes, okay now okay so hello my name is Asutosh Singh and today I am here to deliver a lecture on the topic female fortitude in India so i have divided my session into three sub topics first what it is then what causes then the disease then the status and finally i'll continue the topic so what is female fortitude female fortitude is is the killing of female child is the killing of male child in the female in the female womb uh, type like a uh, abortion Astros, type like we are seeing so sorry to sorry to interrupt you turn off your camera because your voice is not coming to us you are not audible It's not clear. Okay. Okay. Yes. Am I audible? Yes. 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 You are audible. Yes. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you. Now you can start your speech. Okay. 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 No problem. No problem. Okay. Shall I start? Wait a. Wait a second. Wait a second. I have to start timer. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. Now start. Jai Hind, gentlemen. My name is Asutosh Singh, and I am here to deliver the lecture on the topic female fortitude. so i have divided my session into three to four sub parts firstly i'll give i'll give the overview about what female fortitude is and then the what are the causes and then the remedies and finally i'll conclude my topic so what is female fortitude female fortitude is a killing of female child in the female womb before giving before coming to the world so we are seeing that uh, today in today's uh, world that female, female child are uh, being aborted aborted by their family by the mother uh, because they they think that they are the cert, certain type of burden to the, to them they think that they, they want give the, them the full opportunity they want give them the full uh, leadership in in the future so they abort their uh, they, they abort them uh, before giving birth to them so what are the causes that uh, leads to female fortitude the very first cause I, in my opinion is that the dowry so they think that they have to pay a lot uh, for them they have to uh, pay a lot for them during their marriage and the second that there there is much educational sphere they think that if they 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 think that they have to spend a lot of money Uh, in their educational uh, in, in their educational point of view and they think that they want give them that much success they want they would, don't want they want give them that much uh, i i i mean to say that they want uh, help them financially in the future uh, if they if they if they help them in, the, in their in their studies uh, like previous one so they, they that in my opinion th these are the two main causes which leads to the female fortitude but in ancient india let, let's go back to the history in ancient india we saw that the scholars believe that uh, women enjoyed women uh, have equal status and equal uh, equal status equal freedoms equal rights as compared to men like we also know that most of our lords in fact most of our lords like uh, bhagwan shri krishna which uh, bhagwan uh, shri hanuman which are known by their mother names like we are seeing that uh, uh, bhagwan shri hanuman is known by like uh, dev is known by like uh, anjani putra hanuman and shri krishna is known by that dev ki nandan shri, uh, shri krishna so but during the islamic invasion of babar and the uh, later on like uh, in the christianity period we saw that uh, uh, the certain practices like sati pratha devdasi system started so which which leads to the uh, which leads to the female like uh, demolition like it, it curtails the female women's freedoms and rights so what is devdasi sati pratha system that women are women are uh, married to the deity or temple so we are seeing that they don't want to uh, they don't want to uh, they 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 think that they, the female child are certain type of burden to them so but in today's status we have seen that there are certain improvements into that that uh, we are seeing that the uh, in the pre in the history in the previous in the history time we are seeing, we are seeing that uh, the family came to the hospital and they by several process they came to know that the the upcoming child is the male or the female like they have aborted their child love if the child is female so in today's world we are seeing that the 
government has taken a policy uh, has given a, a, a policy that there is no uh, type of ultrasound that uh, will give that um, the uh, upcoming child is female or male so we are can i go or it's time up your time was already up but you had make it too long but just concluded let's see but i have so many points so uh, actually i have i have i haven't framed my lecture right? so that's why it takes too long yeah it's been too so, long so okay that's already. all from my side that's all from my side for today's lecture uh, later on i will prepare it more perfectly and i'll frame my lecture according wise so that's all from my side for today's lecture now bhuleshwar can start okay thank you gentlemen but uh, we have already provided my pleasure we already give our topic like uh, in before 8 pm so from tomorrow so, like but i have i haven't sorry 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 i haven't checked my topic na so sorry it's okay. my fault so from tomorrow you can check like we yes but, yes yes sure 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 tomorrow is our ppt session in alternate days we consider like in one day ppt okay 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 i'll 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 join my i'll join your ppt sir yes in ppt like yes. it is start from 10 pm onwards and okay okay okay, okay when okay. it come to lecture it we give our topic in between 6 to 8 pm okay 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 so i think from next time you are aware of it okay okay, okay thank you gentlemen now so bolesh sir you can start sir sir turn firstly open your camera bolesh sir i want to see you yes gentlemen yes. hello 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 <laughs> am i audible to all of you no you are not audible okay okay so bolesh my voice sir, is quite are, clear are audible but i want i want to see you firstly open your camera <laughs> okay okay i will open my camera after 5 minutes So now I would like to clear one thing. What are you doing right now? <laughs> nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing. So, gentlemen, I would ask. I'm asking you: Is my voice clear, or there is some kind yes, of fuzzy yes, noise? Yes, you are audible. You are audible. Just go with the flow. Okay. Now let's okay. Uh, let me start my lecture. Okay. Then, okay, okay. So good, good, good evening, gentlemen. Today's my lecture topic is female fetishism. Recently, in 2022, comes a gender parity index report in which India ranks very low. in which it was stated that the gender parity in india has varied to 63% a lot of young people in india are going to the foreign places because there there is a gender equality in equal opportunities for the women now female fetishism just we all know just simply means that killing of a girl baby into the womb but why are we killing this there are many uh, reasons behind this as uh, or some members before me have spoken about dowry system as of course i think the dowry system is the one of the main reason behind killing of a uh, female baby in the womb but there are other reasons too you see in india always a man is treated as a one who will take care of a family you still see that even in the middle class families who are quite quite well educated and rich they are not ready to teach uh, to give education to their females counterpart for example if there are a boy and a girl in a family then they will prefer in education terms they will prefer more towards the boy than to the girl the reason behind this that they still believe ki shaadi ke baad to ye paraya ghar chali jayegi why spend so much money on her education but this mentality i think is very much harsh in today's world being self reliable is very much important you see today's world is not of a muscle power it's more and more of a mind power and in mind no female is lacking than a male so, hence i think that we should focus more and more on female education or in simple terms i think we should focus more and on our female reliability now dowry system is also reason behind this as see in the villages uh, they want more and more dowry hence this uh, tend to kill the female fetishism and don't want to uh, take her into this world now what are the ways to solve this problem You see, in today's world, just take the example of education. As I said earlier, you see there are a lot of uh, online platforms through which even a female can study. Hence, it's not about too much. Ex uh, hence, education is not that much expensive, and parents are now focusing more and more on girls' education. As a person, we all should believe that a girl should become self-reliable and should stand on her own feet. But still, there is a, a stereotype in the society that a female. after class 12 should focus only on a marriage and not solve the thing so first step i think to solve this problem is that a particular individual female should come up front to solve this problem how can she can how she can contribute she should focus solely on her career make herself better 
and self reliable mentally emotionally and financially in all these aspects i think that should be the fundamental step to solve this problem now from the government side there are many steps taken like beti bachao beti padhao and there are many steps that have been taken to help the females like recently in the government i am not very much clear about the yojana but in the government yojana small scale businesses uh, have been boon by the government and government is helping uh, to provide loan to the females for the small scale businesses too and providing them skill set so that they become self reliable i think from the government side is a very much good initiative hence i believe female feticide is a problem which is related to this uh, uh, to the stigma to the stereotype in the society that a man can only uh, sustain the family but as i say earlier that mind power mind power nowadays is very much important so it this problem can be solved by making people aware and focusing on a girls or girl individual development thanks okay very well done very well done that was too good that's why that's why he he got recommended he got recommended Shan- yeah one point only <laughs> that what will he'll, he'll do we'll just say that's the thing that he got recommended what do you think guys okay i think chess number 22 has to deliver his lecture again because during that time ashtos was joining the session and no, just... no i don't want to deliver yes, i didn't yes. said what yes. are you saying by yourself yes. i don't want to yes. deliver it again and chess number 24 like doing yeah uh, you know every everyone knows. eight eleven activities so if what, you what, what is my activities. eight eleven what is my chess number you your date of birth is your chess your number date of birth bolisha chasal's date of birth is its chess number my chess number is 21 and ashtosh your chess number my date of birth is 29 jan <laughs> okay so chess number 24 tell chess number 22 his pros and cons what one by one first chess number 24 then bholeshwar then ashtosh uh, say what you don't like what you like and what you don't like okay thank you i have already you know mentioned about about, yeah, about, about, what yes, topic, about about what topic i would oh. i have to deliver my pros and cons <laughs> you don't have to deliver pros and cons aap nahi kiske bare mein mujhe kya batana hai kiske bare mein pros and cons batane bhai aman chess number 22 मतलब उसने क्या उसने क्या अच्छा किया उसने क्या खराब किया अच्छा तो उसने मेरी अच्छा तो उसने मेरी भाई मैंने उसकी सुनी नहीं भाई मैंने उसकी सुनी भाई मैंने उसकी सुनी नहीं पे आया था वो एकदम एंड पे आया था जब मैं कंक्लूड कर रहा था ओके 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 तो यू हैव टू डू इट अगेन आनंद प्रताप की सुनी है अपने जेंटलमैन लेफ्टिनेंट गोलेश्वर की सुनी है नो नो हिज नेम इज नॉट गोलेश्वर ही हैज अनदर नेम आई विल टेक्स्ट यू एलटी एलटी डॉट एलटी डॉट गोलेश्वर ओके सो चैप्टर नंबर 24 टेल हिम हिज प्रोज एंड कॉन्स So I request first of all, just number twenty-two, deliver it lecture it again. So everyone demand is that you have to deliver the lecture it again. So I think you have to deliver it one more time so that Ashutosh. Yeah. Go, Aman. Just go with the flow, yeah. Go with the flow. मैच में वीक थे पर नंबर ही नंबर है जो तेरे साथ थे वो बंदे ही अनपढ़ है पुलिस का शेव देख रहा शेव मैं वॉशरूम चाहता हूं फिर डिलीवर करता हूं अच्छा मैं वॉशरूम चाहता हूं फिर डिलीवर करता हूं ओके 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 गो एंड गेट द टॉनिक फ्रॉम देयर एकदम बोलेजर 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 लग रहा है कहीं दिन में बैठा हुआ है तुमसे रात में नहीं लग रहा तू चमक रहा है यू हैव आगे यू हैव तुमने आगे फोकस रख रखा है क्या ओके सो ये बाहर बैठा करके गरीबी है यार ओके सो टेल चेस नंबर 24 लाइक आनंद प्रताप तुम गरीबी फिर वही बात आनंद बनने से पहले फिर वही बात मुझे भी गरीब बनना है टेल हिम हिज प्रोज एंड कॉन्स चेस नंबर 24 इसके बताने हमें तुम्हारे ही प्रोज एंड कॉन्स बताने हैं so so let, let me start one uh, one thing i have observed that in the end you had concluded it very badly like you just kya kar rahe ho bhai tabhi so you just see you, you had you just seen your notes and said yes i concluded my points and that's it that's not yes good because point. i forgot someone you forget it. but i thought that you don't have to see your notes during the lecture see it many times okay that, that that's why i hadn't you know added any more lines to it because i know i have started cheating <laughs> yeah so i don't want to end it yeah, so, okay whatever i what will i say to you <laughs> you just say you had seen your notes and just deliver your lecture it uh, uh, yes like, yes aman has no, come aman has come yes aman i hadn't do it no, deliver your lecture it again 
We all guys, we all guys, we all guys meted in our in my room, yes, in Allahabad, and Boleshwar was completely busy in in in, in again in re in re attempting the mock paper. Mock paper in in time. Remember, Betty Chowd number still not coming. Boleshwar, 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 mind your language. Or which people are there? Test number twenty one. Mind your language because I have to edit too much. <laughs> edit it. <laughs> please, please, please go with the edit because if you please share, like, I think if I you will... share like this, it will have enormous number of views. I will not edit today's session. I will just make it raw. <laughs> yes, yes. Is right. I agree. Then people will join. I agree. It is going to. This will be. This will be. Okay, Aman. Okay, 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 Aman, start your lecture. I will make it title. See the vulgarity hey, yo, of a committed candidate. Hey, hey, Aman. Just number two. Okay, Jai Hind, gentlemen. I am Aman Pandey from Fatehpur district, and I am going to deliver a lecture at on the topic female forticides in India. Okay, so India is full of gender discrimination. According to the Ministry of Women and Child Welfare, there are 108 males per 100 females. Uh, india uh, uh, girls are treated as god as goddess in india but nowadays many people thinks that girls are burden on the on their parents uh, which leads to female forticides many reasons of female forticides are uh, educational backwardness financial backwardness and others are as rape dowry oh, and, yeah, yeah. and uh, violence against women uh, In India, we have a patriarchal society, which leads to son preference mentality. It is because of uh, social and financial uh, stability, social and financial security given by a son. But what is the solution to it? What is the government of India is doing? So, for uh, regarding uh, female forticides, to curb female forticide, government of India has launched many schemes as uh, uh, Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana, Beti Bachao Beti Padhao Yojana. बालिका बालिका समृद्धि योजना एंड मेनी मोर बट अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आई थिंक इट इज अ शेम ऑन अस इवन बिकॉज इवन इफ इन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड सेंचुरी वुमेन्स आर नॉट सेफ इन इंडिया इन आर कंट्री बिफोर गेटिंग अ बर्थ सो आई थिंक एज अ यूथ वी शुड टेक इनिशिएटिव टू इरेडिकेट दिस वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट सोशल एवल विच इज प्रेजेंट इन आर सोसाइटी विच विल मेक a big impact and will give us the biggest uh, which will give us uh, us the best possible results for uh, regarding that we can do awareness we can pro, uh, provide awareness through different uh, programs we can educate people by changing our educational <laughs> educational policy regarding female forticides uh, and we also eradicate that social evils which i uh, mentioned earlier like uh, violence against women and sati pratha we should also remove the uh, discrimination against women and the sun preference mentality too so this was my great gentlemen okay that was too good that was too good actually shashank i was i was i was just looking at your headphone your headphone is just looking like you are social media influencer <laughs> yeah i was at a time i was a social media influencer oh that's why that's why your headphone was like this yeah but so check number 22 actually, actually we guys <laughs> Yes, number twenty-two. I was I was not able to control my love love laughter because I was just like he was doing his mistake. <laughs> and the first lecture it when I was giving it uh, like today when I started. Uh, first of all, uh, Anand interrupted me by <laughs> by his laughter, and later on Ashutosh GP. I, when I saw Ashutosh GP, I was <laughs> like, I I was blank at that point. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> like it, it was, shocked by seeing his body. <laughs> yeah. 
Nick, Nick. Ashtos, you <laughs> are Nick, you, you are just letting everyone mouth quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you are making us speechless. You are magical. <laughs> okay. So I think now we have to conclude session by telling yes. everyone it's for the. Yeah, sure. Why why we can't have two sessions in a day? One in the morning and one in the night. No, no. जो एक join करते नहीं हो दो दो होने चाहिए. कौन Look, Bolishwar, Bolishwar is Bolishwar is in too hurry. So, he has to go somewhere. Let's start with. He Chas- has to talk with his girlfriend. <laughs> stay, stay. Spanish, stay. Spanish. Dilaa do yar Supriya ki sasan. What are you saying, man? Lieutenant, बनने के बाद भी इनको Supriya की चाहिए. मतलब इनके हाथ में सोने का कटोरा दे दो तो भी अब भी की मांगे. भी की मांगे. भी की मांगे. भी की मांगे. So, chest number twenty two has started the session and chest number twenty two has ended the session. So we will start from chest number twenty two. That's why he is going to be recommended next time, na? Yes. Bad can you do? We learned that. Tell him his pros and cons. Let's start with you, Ashutosh. What do you want to say about him? Actually, I have, I have, I haven't, not any point about myself. You guys can go on about my pros and cons. अबे आनंद प्रताप नाम से लोग आ रहा है तुम ये बताओ उसके pros cons क्या थे नहीं सुना तो अमन के बताओ भाई भाई मुझे मुझे समझ नहीं आया मुझे मेरे समझ नहीं आया मैं उसे क्या बता दूँ तुम बताओ बताओ तुम अमन का ये बताओ कि उसने कैसे lecture दिया अच्छा था कि उसमें अरे अमन तो अमन तो genius है अरे genius ये थोड़ा होता है that's not thing अबे गणेश जी का फोन � You have to tell what he had done well right and what he had done mistake. What mistake he had done? The first point that you have mentioned that the conclusion was very bad. No, no. In my opinion also. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. In my opinion also, no, the conclusion was. I am talking about Aman Pandey. I am not talking about Anand. Oh, Aman Pandey. Oh, okay. okay. Aman no, Pandey. Not Pandey. It's Pandey. <laughs> <laughs> Today, today you guys, you guys can carry on with pros and cons tomorrow. From tomorrow onwards, I'll, I'll go with pros. Okay, so chess number twenty-four. Tell chess number twenty-two is pros and cons. Turn on your mic. First of all, I want to. Okay, 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 okay. First, bowl is for bowl is for bowl is for. Okay, bowl is for. Yeah. Tell him pros and cons. Pros and cons of chess number twenty-two. Yeah, no, what, what? Twenty-two means Aman. You are left. You are left. Okay, okay, Aman. Tell Aman his pros and cons. बहुत बढ़िया जैसा मन कोई सुधार की आवश्यकता हमें दिखाई नहीं पड़ी बहुत सुंदर अच्छा और गलतियां क्या थी गलतियां हम कहे तो बहुत अच्छा था कोई गलती वर्ती क्या बताए अच्छा था सब बढ़िया था देखा अब लेफ्टिनेंट ने जज कर दिया तो मतलब सही है इस बार रिकमेंड और लेक्चरेट में भाई थैंक यू मिस्टर लेफ्टिनेंट ओके सो चेस नंबर 22 सॉरी सॉरी चेस नंबर 24 बॉडी वन ऑफ यार अमन ने कहा था कि बॉडी मूवमेंट मैं बिल्कुल मिनिमाइज करूंगा आज वैसे सही था बॉडी मूवमेंट बिल्कुल मतलब मिनिमाइज तो नहीं लेकिन 90 परसेंट तक कंट्रोल किया है और भाई फिर रिकमेंडेड कैंडिडेट ने बोल दिया कि ये सब सही था तो हम कहते पॉइंट आउट करें कोई मिस्टेक एवरीथिंग वाज फाइन थैंक यू ठीक है तो इट्स कम टू मी सो मुझे ये कहना है कि तुम थोड़ा सा और अच्छा कर सकते थे थोड़ा सा और अच्छा कर सकते थे अच्छा लोगों की मैंने वो लेक्चरेट सुना ना मैं अपना मैं बहुत ज़्यादा मतलब मैसी हो गया था तुम खो गए थे खुद के लेक्चरेट हो तुम खुद खो गए थे कि लाइक तुम थोड़ा सा बीच में हुए हो तो बस वही चीज़ है बाकी मस्त था एकदम लाइक योर लेक्चरेट वाला ऑल गुड तो जेंटलमैन फॉर योर ओपिनियन � क्या कौन सा पॉइंट लास्ट में कुछ किया था ना सन करके सन प्रेफरेंस मेंटालिटी हाँ ये होता क्या इसको समझाओ थोड़ा बच्चों अबे सन प्रेफरेंस मेंटालिटी मतलब यार इन लाउंडे को ज़्यादा वो कर मेल चाइल्ड को प्रेफरेंस ज़्यादा मिलती है प्रेफरेंस अर्थात महत्व महत्व ठीक 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 
मुझे लगा वो सन एस यू एन की बात कर रहा है एस ओ एन बताइए देखिए थोड़ा बताइए हमारे बारे में भी थोड़ा टेल मी एक्चुअली वी डोंट हैव एनी पॉइंट अबाउट हिम ना वी वांट वी वी आर नॉट एबल टू जज हिम यस यस हु ना बताइए बताइए ईश्वर की कृपा होगी ऐसा ना करिए बताइए थोड़ा टेल मी माय प्रोडक्ट दैट्स द स्पिरिट आई हैव लेफ्ट दो दो शब्द कहिए फर्स्टली माइन फर्स्टली माइन फर्स्टली माइन ओके सो चेस नंबर 22 फर्स्ट यू टेल माय ब्रदर फर्स्ट uh i think uh, your facts were not more clear you should make them more clear and impactful and a bit confidence you should be um, more in confidence that's it okay. so just number 24 confidence and general english we don't want to mention it as we already you know this problem in yeah, all of some basic english, all of three yes. all all of four except holeshwar and uh, Yes, it was good as compared to the last two sessions. Yes. Okay. And anything else? No, no, no. Bolesha, you don't. Do you want to say anything? No, no, no. Bade log. Okay, so we will not ask the Bolesha. He just said time. to us, "Bade log." Yeah. Also, Ashutosh, do you want to say anything? No, no, no. I don't have any okay. point. I don't have any so, pros and cons about. Okay. That. What about me? What about Ashutosh, me? Ashutosh, one thing I will suggest you that from next time, like you, you will like prepare your, from next time. You already prepared your session. Right. So yes, yes. Like, don't get in too fast. What do you think, Bolisha? Yeah, 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 yeah. बहुत बहुत बच्चों दी पिल्ला. Actually, 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 I have early I, waiting period. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get that fast. No, like, at some instance you were at religious point and then you came at early medieval, early period and medieval period and then now. Now. एक आदमी का बोले चल बेटा. गुस्ताख के गुस्ताख के नबी की एक ही सजा. Okay. Sartan se jada, Sartan se jada. I think that's all about today's session. अबे वो ये काट देना, ये काट देना, काट देना. Okay, so that's about today's session. We have to end the session. Okay. मैं मैं बात तुम बता ही नहीं है. To you all. अबे ओ ओ ओ नेता वो अब मैं सेशन बस मैं दैट्स इट दैट्स ओ ना 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 नो 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 जेंटलमैन